Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, today's video is going to introduce the field of environmental geology. The learning outcomes of today's video are to define environmental geology and uh, analyze environmental geology's place in the field of geology and sort of the wider field of science and engineering. So, What does environmental geology mean to you? I'd like you to take a moment to just think over what exactly that phrase means to you. All right, so this is what I came up with. Uh, to me, environmental geology is about analyzing the exchange between different earth systems. So the movement from uh, rocks to sediment with um, the flowing of a creek or the impact of a the flow of a creek from a dam from human activities or let's say we used to have a meandering stream that was very fluid and formed this really great um, dynamic riverbed that was constantly changing but now it's been cemented in and, and how does that impact um, that system at play, the, the hydrogeology of that all. Uh, to me, compared to other geological fields of study like um, volcanology or seismology, these are really active processes that we're studying here um, with mineralogy and different types of um, hard geologists. You're studying a record of something that happened millions of years ago whereas environmental geology is focusing on the processes and things that are happening right now. Um, and mainly that's because they are focusing on impacts from human activities or the impacts of geology and the environment on human activities. So these are active processes, um, which uh, I find a bit more interesting and often have active solutions. These are things that are currently happening and there are solutions to them. Um, that's when you start moving into uh, the field of engineering where you're designing and implementing things, but um, these things that you study potentially can be resolved and um, prevented from happening for future generations. And so I find that quite fulfilling to have that feedback and, and interplay with every um, real life application. So comparing environmental geology to environmental engineering, which I am an environmental engineer, uh, and it really gets down to the differences between science and engineering, because there are differences to your approach to a problem. So a scientific inquiry starts with something that already exists, a physical system that's already present. There is some scientific anomaly that we can't explain. And so we take measurements, we try to describe it, and eventually turn that into an abstract model that can then turn in term um, guide our expectation of how that system will behave in the future. So we're studying something, we're trying to develop a generalization that we can make about it that can we can apply to a system like that in the future. Whereas engineering design takes these abstract models that are often developed by scientists, the way we expect things to happen uh, is been developed by a scientist. And so an engineer can take that expectation, take that model, design something that then turns into a physical system. So I know water flows this way, and so I'm able to make a water treatment plant that flows in the same way um, and uses these equations and flows that have been determined by scientific inquiry. So um, there's really a fundamental exploratory um, inquiry that's happening with science, and engineering is application of that in real life. So these are very similar fields, but each have their own pros and cons. Science just tends to take a lot longer. You're taking a lot of measurements off often before you can uh, interpolate that and turn that into a model. Uh, engineering, on the other hand, happens very quickly. Uh, you, you tend to expect the way things happen, uh, and sometimes that's not always correct. Your assumptions don't end up being true but you're able to take 
concepts and hopefully cross your fingers, turn it into something that actually works. So scientific inquiry moves a lot slower. It definitely um, is more thorough than engineering processes tend to be, uh, whereas engineering design is about rapid implementation in the field often. And that concludes our lecture. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions you may have.